Welcome back to Elden Ring. We just opened up this door just across from the side of Grace. Opening up a shortcut. Now let's explore this area. exactly did we come from? Was it over there? Just want to make them fall so they... I don't think they would actually come up. I think they only drop down, but still. Just in case. I don't know. Did we come from here? Very careful about rolling. I don't want to roll off. Door and then grace ahead. This is probably where we came from then. Oh yeah, it is. Oh, they can climb up. I don't think this leads anywhere. There we go. Got a shortcut to it now. Huh? <laughs> Necessary Adam had tried gesturing. Some emote where they... They do like a little spin? It's cute, but I don't think I have that. That's like a showing off my dress spin. Do a little twirl. Which I wish I could do. I don't have it, right? No, but I can sit sexily.
Yes. Lounge in the filth. So does this just fall into an area I've already been, or is this something new? Oh, this is... this is new. This is where all the beetles I've been hearing are. I hear even another one. Ah. Okay, this is just back down to where we've already been. Yes. I don't know where is what and what is where. I think we need some help. I cannot figure this place out, so I'm going to drop rainbow stones where I've been. So hopefully that'll make it easier to figure out where I've been and where I haven't. Okay, I think I've found a new way. I see bloodstains, I see two ways to go, yes. Dung ahead, be wary of surface. Okay, there's two holes to drop down. They probably both lead to the same place, I would think. Let's hope so. Oh, I hear something down there. Ah! Doesn't open, of course. Oh, more pipes. <laughs> Don't give up, so to speak, shortcut ahead. Oh, okay. Wait, have I already been down here? Yeah, I think the shortcut they're talking about is just the one where we open the doors from the other side. We've been here. Behind the flowers leads to that door that needs a key. This leads to the shortcuts. Let's try the other hole. It probably leads to the same... Place? No, it doesn't. Oh, that leads to the other side of the door. Okay. Uh. 
Hey, we found something. Something new, I think. Yes. Oh, we found a pot we can talk to, maybe? Possibly? Hmm. Oh no. Oh no, I can't talk to them. I'm gonna try to avoid killing them if I can. I think I can. Yeah, yeah, we're fine. Oh my god, where the fuck are we going? Oh no, a little pot! Ah! Whew, this place is a nightmare to navigate, but we did it. Forsaken Depths. I wonder if it wasn't made a nightmare to navigate on purpose. Probably. Like, I really feel like I'm in some forsaken depths with how, with how freaking hard it was to get here. Blood loss ahead. Try bridge? Oh no. Mog the omen. Oh, we have the... Ah, oh, crap. We have the shackle. Oh, they have some cool blood magic. But yeah, we got the shackle from somewhere. I don't even remember where we got it from. Mog's shackle. Yes. Wow, they have a lot of health. Freeze, damn you. They do not want to freeze. I think the shackle might not work anymore. Yeah, two times it might be the max. That or there's a cooldown. Oh!
Oh no. No, no, no. Blood loss. Fuck. Ah. Oh. That was a really good try, though. That was pretty close. I put the modeled necklace plus one on so I can get some more resistance to bleed. And let's try melee. Um, let's try the wing. I want to see how much that special nebula can do. See if I can maybe break their poise or something. Oh yes, it did. Wow, that did a lot of damage. Hey, I killed him. <laughs> Blood flame talons. Wow, that attack is fucking ridiculous. Dear God. Oh, I feel like I cheese them. It's very funny though. <laughs> but still. <laughs> oh. What was Blood flame talons? That was probably an incantation. 13 faith, 15 arcane. Not very modest requirements. Create blood flame lacerations that then explode. That sounds so cool. A blood oath incantation granted by the Lord of Blood. Hidden path ahead. Attack it? Attacking required ahead. Oh, damn. Earth Tree's favor plus one. Raises maximum HP, stamina, and equip load. Ooh. How much? Raises my HP by... Between 40 and 50? So uh, pretty much equivalent to one more Vigor point. My equip load goes up by about 4. No, exactly 4. And my stamina goes from 111 to 120. So the HP increase is not great. The equip load is probably equivalent to one or two points of um, endurance. The stamina is quite nice, though. That's at least a couple points of... Um, is it endurance? I think it's endurance that gives you stamina. Hmm. Hmm. That's actually kind of a toss-up as to whether that's better or the faster casting speed. It's pretty good. The equip load really doesn't matter, though. Like, the equip loads are relevant for me because it's, I'm going from medium load to medium load. No change. The stamina's nice. The HP's nice. Hmm. Faster casting speed is important, though, for sure. I could really use more stamina, to be honest. I'm going to go with it. Let's use it for a while. No love ahead. Didn't expect merchant, all the more despair. Sealed by Morgoth, the grace given. Oh, 
Oh yeah, hey, look at this. These that are like, these people that are frozen in this state of madness. Like, look what they have. They have those um, little like violin thing, the, the instrument thing that the merchants have. Yeah, that one is one as well. You can hear someone playing in there. Does this place attract those merchants or something? What? This somehow plays into the story of who the merchants are, I think. Interesting. But I guess I have to find Morgoth first to unseal it. Let's get another point of vigor and a point of intelligence. Let's upgrade our cold Knight Rider flail. We have a lot of smithing stone sevens. So it's at 18 right now. 19. 20. 21. And we can't quite do it again. We're close to maxing this thing out. Going from the West Capital Rampart, where we ran up that, like, dragon wing. Let's explore down. So, like, it seems like if we go this way, it's going to lead to a whole bunch of stuff. But if I drop down, it's going to lead to, I guess, like, the other half of the lower part of the town or something like that. And I have a feeling it's going to hook up with one of the big gates that we already opened as well. Wait, I think we've already been here. Yeah, okay. I've already dropped down this far. I didn't drop down further than this, though. Yeah, I'm not jumping down there. Oh, yeah, they said seems familiar. That's because this is the round table hold. Like, the same structure of it. Sanctified wet blade. Weird to find that in the same place that the armorer was. Sanctified wet blade. Be a. That wouldn't be a tool, it's a key item, I think. The cipher engraved can be used as a whetstone knife. Uh, when applying an affinity using physical or golden type ashes of war, golden type ashes of war, an additional affinity of sacred or lightning can be chosen. I'm more intrigued by the golden type ashes of war than I am by the sacred or lightning. Sacred? I assume that does holy damage. Hammer? Like, also a hammer where the blacksmith was? That's so weird. Hammer comprised of a large stone affixed to... Oh, we've seen this before. Oh, wait, hold on. It says the art of smithing is said to have originated among the giants. This weapon's striking attacks boast ample weight behind them. Yeah, it's even for smithing. Is that just like, I don't know, a self-reference? Or is this literally supposed to be like... Another round table hold that's fallen into disrepair or something. I, 
I don't know, or another timeline version. This is kind of creeping me out. I kind of want to go back to the round table hold and just make sure that everything's okay. By my sword. It's cute. <laughs> no up ahead. <laughs> this is where the crone and the fingers were. Oh, we can open it. Coated sword? What is that? so strange. It's special is unblockable blade. It's a straight sword. Mm. Oh, it takes faith. That's the only requirement, faith. Weird. Yeah, it doesn't do any physical damage at all. Just holy. Hidden sword once granted to the tarnished of the round table by the two fingers. A formless cipher comprises its blade which deals holy damage no shield can repel. Champions would gather at the round table hold in days long past when the two fingers were masters of oration, their flesh yet full of vigor. Unblockable blade. Imbue the cipher blade with a light, extending its length, then strike with a sudden sweeping attack. Cannot be blocked. Damn. No shield can repel. That's really cool. What does this thing look like in my hands? Yeah, it's just... It's words. It's a blade made of words. Oh, it makes a neat noise. Yeah, I can't do the special. Don't have the faith for it. Very, very light. This is where the dung eater was. Holy dung. They were tied to this chair. Seed bed curse. It's a key item? The fuck? This place is full of all sorts of weird stuff. Curse grown on a body defiled by the Dung Eater. <gasps> Maybe I can now talk to the Dung Eater and they'll actually pay me some mind. Curse grown on a corpse killed and defiled by the Dung Eater, a tender pox afflicted with omen horns. The Dung Eater cultivates the seedbed curse on corpses. By doing so, he prevents dead souls returning to the Erd Tree, leaving them forever cursed. One of the most loathsome things found in all of the lands between. Oh, 
I wonder what's down there. Let's go downstairs over here. Before I jump over. Because I don't know if I can get back up. Oh, shit. Well. Nothing but potatoes back there. This leads to the main hall. Okay. We're going to go out there anyway, I'm sure. Two Fingers Prayer Book. I'm sure that's just for incantations. Yep. set of all brick stuff. Hats, their rope. Oh, that looks pretty. Racers and trousers. It seems to have like red jewels on it and stuff. Mad Tongue Albrick's pointed hat, a sign of a heretical practitioner. Set with red glintstones, said to be formed by the blood of sacrifices. Strengthens thorn sorcery. Albrecht was an aloof yet disturbed heretical sorcerer said to have been driven mad by jeering tongues during his service to the Round Table Hold long ago. Driven mad by jeering tongues. What, like people derided them for so long that they just turned mad? Is that what they mean? Uh, not my thing. How about the robe, though? Oh. That is quite... Hmm. It's got some strong shoulder pads. Oh, those gems on the shoulders look very odd. Interesting. Yeah, I don't think that fits this character. Way too, like, bulky and blocky. What about the other parts, though? Hmm. They're interesting looking. Like, I'd like to wear something like that, but it just... It's how it... Like... The part around the elbow, it doesn't look very elegant. It's not tight to the skin. So they look very odd, given what I'm wearing. Like, I wish it was tighter to the skin, more sleek. I totally forgot what I was even wearing before. Was it that? I think it was. Wait. Perfumer gloves. Well, perfumer gloves are tight to the skin as well. Hmm. I like the Queen's bracelets. Albrecht's trousers look kind of weird and not heavy enough. Since I'm using the trousers to offset how light my other armor is. Oh, 
<gasps> oh, another painting. Flightless bird painting. It's very close to the Erd tree. So I think that's probably just outside the capital, I would think. I want to get back up to the... Whoa. Back up to the... Top of the round table hold. Oh, you probably can't fit through there, can you? Hee hee hee. Yeah, let's stay at a range. get back up. I don't think that's going to lead back up. Maybe out the front door? Oh, yeah. And this does lead to that one of the big doors that I opened. This is just the other side of it. So you don't even need to open the door, actually. You could just fall on the other side. Made my way around so I can grab this item. I'm sure it's not that important. Spinning Stone 6. Yeah, so that place is called Fortified Manor. But uh, before we go to that weird little side place from the Fortified Manor, let's explore more down here. So I know where that leads. That just leads back to the kind of the main part. Not really any reason to defeat those enemies. I don't need to go through them to get here. But what about what's over here? Oh my god. How did you see me? You were turned around and I was sneaking, right? Oh no. Gravelstone seal. Oh, seal, that's for incantations? Is 
Sacred Seal boosts dragon cult incantations. Sacred Seal made from gravel stone, thought to be an ancient dragon scale. The worship of the ancient dragons does not conflict with belief in the Erd Tree. After all, this seal and lightning itself are both imbued with gold. Oh, this little walkway here, that's the thing we were inside of from the Fortified Manor. Oh, I see an item up here. Wait, how do I get up there? Just barely make it. Stone sword key. Cool. Wait, can I sneak? No, I can't fit. Okay, let's explore this weird, I don't know, breezeway from the fortified, yeah, fortified manor. This is so large. Stormhawk axe. Takes a bit of strength and some decks. Battle axe designed to resemble a hawk, with its wings comprising the blade. Signature weapon of warriors who strive to remain one with the storm despite being so far from their place of birth. Their hearts are proud, and thereby easily undone. Thunderstorm is a unique skill. It's a giant elevator. Oh, what a view of the Erd Tree. Wait. Is this... Oh, ho, ho. it links up with that place that we were teleported to forever ago. Yeah, we were never able to go down. You couldn't use the elevator. You had to activate it first from the, like, from the bottom. Yeah, these messages are probably, I want to go home. It's like a dream trap except hidden path. Okay, there's... Two ways to go in the capital right now. One leads to the higher part of the capital, which I feel like is going to lead towards like the er tree and the main boss or whatever <laughs> is here. And the other way is through this door that we opened forever ago. So let's explore this first.
So sandy. Sorry, doggies. Oh, this is the person we fought at that uh, castle. Uh, I don't remember the name of it. I survived with like one HP there. Praise the dog. No attacking ahead. Oh, I'm sorry. I had to. Perfume bottle. Joy? There's a lot of enemies here. Oh. Let's try this again.
Likely house. Praise the comfort. Wait, is this actually a trap? Oh no, the message said it's a trap. I, oh, this is my home forever now. I can't get out. Oh, thank God. Wow. I think jumping is what did it. Same sort of lift as the other huge one that led to the area we've already been to. But... this is a different place, yes. Oh, this... According to this outline on the map, this leads to a road, and... I don't know, what the hell else? Be wary of horse. Flame Drake, Flame Drake Talisman plus one, so extra fire protection. Wait, what? Examine seal? What seal? There's nothing there. Sealed by Morgoth the Grace Given. Morgoth? That must be a bug. Oh, we don't even get a bonfire. Wow, that's going to be a long run back there. Let me put a mark here. It's not really a closed gate mark. I don't know. I'll just put a jewel. Why not? The only pathway left to go is up this big tree. Or, well, actually, I guess we kind of have two pathways. We have up the tree, and then we have over here, which, if you remember, leads to the other side of this. The other side of this gap. I'm curious, how far does this tree thing go? Like, is this whole thing up here? Like, down there, we've already been to. That's definitely really significant up there. Looks like a boss arena or something. Yeah, let's see what's up here a bit. Oh, whoops. A little overboard. Guardian garb. Engraved golden garb worn by the guardians of the minor Ur tree. In accordance with an ancient pact with the Ur tree, it is said that their deaths led not to destruction, but instead to renewed eternal life as guardians. Not bad looking. Not my thing, though.
Whoa, they just sprouted. Haven't seen them do that before. That's really cool. Oh, this also leads... Yeah, this leads to the upper part of the capital. That's... Over there is an, another upper part of the capital. I don't know which one's more important. Like, which one's more significant. Guardian Bracers. Yeah, still too loose around the elbows. Boss ahead. Try jumping. Godfrey, first Elden Lord. Oh. Uh, hey. Have another talisman? <gasps> another scrotum. Wow, did I really just first try that? That really wasn't that hard. Visions of weak foe. I, I have to agree. I mean it wasn't super easy, but it wasn't that hard either. The music was really cool though. I really didn't expect us to get a fourth pouch. Well, I guess I can go back to having our faster spell casting at the same time as the Urtree's Fae for plus one. Oh, I didn't look at how many souls I got, but I can probably level up. Almost twice. Another int and mm. eh, another vigor. <laughs> oh, it's a bunch of finger crones. No fingers ahead. Oh, 
A bunch of finger crones. Whoa. There's like a half a dozen at least. Oh, this is just like leading on. More and more up. So many of them. Dozens. Oh yeah, that leads into that split in the Erd tree. Or whatever that is. Is that a split? It looked like a split, but actually now I'm not sure. It might just be like not glowy there. But yeah, that is that is definitely the main way for sure. And if that's the main way, then I want to know what's over here first. Cross that broken bridge. could maybe survive that fall. Oh, hey. You look like, um, I think they're called gladiators. We fought people that look like them a couple times. Starfist, oh my god. It's like the end of a uh, morning star, but just just on your fist. What a ridiculous weapon. Spherical iron manifer covered in spikes, which induce blood loss, used in brutal games of pugilism. I gotta see what that looks like. I'm just gonna have spike hands, just balls, spiky ball hands.
Yeah, the other building we saw like that also had a million people, like a million messages saying, oh, wall, wall, hidden path, hidden path, hidden path. All of them lies. Aw, good hearing. Ritual Shield Talisman. Raises defense when HP is at maximum. A talisman patterned after shields used in ritual combat held to honor the Erd Tree. The practice had died out by the age of King Consort Radigan, but remains of the arenas where ritual combat took place can still be found in every land. Yeah, this is a battle arena that we're outside of. I'm thinking this is a dead end, and that's probably as far as it goes. Jumping? <laughs> no. You think you can make that jump? Good luck. Still have this little place to explore down here with these little flowers. I know there's at least one item at the other end of that broken bridge. That's where we originally came to this room where we just fought that boss. Over this way leads to the Erd Tree directly. This way we haven't actually been to before. Okay, well that'll just go back down to the branch. We've been there, but there's also something here. This leads to that upper layer that's like above that spike, so we can drop down onto the spike and get that item. Okay. Wait, what? That's a, that's a game message. Regression alone reveals secrets. What? Regression alone reveals secrets. Do I need to do something? to make a secret thing happen. Praise the message. Regression? I don't think I have a gesture called regression.
Whoa. Teacher ahead. Seek center? Barrier of Gold and Incantation 24 Faith greatly increases magic damage negation for self and allies. One of the incantations of Urtree Warship. This incantation was used by the champions of the Urtree in the first and second Lyurnian Wars, during which the red haired Radigan joined the hero's ranks. It's time to fall down. Bolt of Grand Sacks? I feel like that made a unique noise when I picked it up. Take a look at that weapon. It's a s oh whoa, twenty strength, forty dex. I have never seen a weapon that takes more than like I don't know low twenties of dex. It does physical and lightning damage. Ancient lightning spear is the special spear whittled from the weapon wielded by Grand Sax, one of the legendary armaments. A great ancient dragon, Gransax, once rained calamity upon the royal capital. The only time in historical record that Lindell's walls have fallen. This marked the dawn of the war against the ancient dragons. I wonder if that's that huge dragon we ran up the wing of. I want to see what that looks like. Even if I can't use it properly. Yeah, a weapon that naturally does lightning damage. Very cool. Yeah, I can't even see what this special looks like. 40 decks. I wonder if I should start putting more points into decks or not. I don't know. I've Well, the 27 I have right now is not my like natural decks. That's upgraded. I think it's actually like 22. No, it's 24. Okay. That's pretty far off of 40. Hmm. Not to mention the strength. Although, with the bonuses from all the things I have, I have 14 strength. I can get half of that if I double hand it, but that's still not going to be enough to get me... Actually, wait. Half of 14 is 7. So actually, that would get me to 21 strength. Uh, never mind, that would be enough strength if I double handed it. But yeah, I need a lot more decks. Anyway. 
I think this is a pretty good place to end the episode, so I hope you've enjoyed so far, and when I return, we're going to head up and over to the Earth Tree. 